Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial on butt switches. So, hold on. Right there. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably know what a butt switch is. Basic demo. So, in theory, that shouldn't be powering the piston. But if you place a block next to the piston, it'll stay on. And then if you turn this off, it won't turn it off immediately, but it'll trigger the block update. So that's a pretty basic one. And of course, you can hear the pistons going off. Um, next, you can do what they call a... Uh, basically, the way this works is it's, it toggles. So when you turn it on, it'll stay on, and when you turn it off, it'll stay off. Alright, just put a lever on. Wait. So there's our an extension of the other one. Um, the only downfall of these is, you know, they uh, they tend to be loud and obnoxious. But I'll give you just a quick demonstration of what you can do with these. So, there's a furnace. Alright, let's just give ourselves some coal. By the way, we've been working on a couple videos with something wrong with our recording software. So we keep losing them all. So right now I'm using something that I never would normally. But just for the purpose of this, I figure why not. So, we'll get on that, figure it out, and you guys can have your videos. Alright. So, I changed the block from the data value of an off stove to an on stove, and it triggered the update, which then put the redstone signal through the block. Ooh, okay. So, I mean, you could wire TNT up or whatever, but the only issue is someone would hear the piston. And also, if you're do using it for something like lighting or who knows, it pretty much makes it useless. So. Uh, here's a little design that I've experimented with, and even though it puts out like, a one-take pulse, it works for what you're doing. So, let's go to where's glowstone. Okay. Another thing is, you, you have to be facing... Oh, zero and two. Okay. So that goes there. Then that goes there, 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 there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now the update detector is based around that glowstone block, but only there, 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 and that's all there is as far as I know. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll make it a little easier on you. Um, but that's pretty much all I have to say, so I'll just build a quick little house and do the little bit here so you guys will get back to this and I'll get back to you once I'm done with this. I couldn't get that to work quite so we're just going to scrap this one and I'll show you this other one for demonstrational purposes. Of course it's going to be easy just to integrate this design where is the piston? Yeah, so that'd be pretty easy to throw in. Um, but as you can see, I put the silent one in here. And another thing I forgot to mention. Oops. Um, the output of these is going to be that torch. So, yeah. Redstone like that. I mean, it really doesn't matter. And just put some stuff. I mean, you can even put a piston trap in if you really that. No. All right. So just cover that up. Oh my gosh! There's coal in there. Maybe I can cook up my iron ore. What is that noise? AFK, you come back and I'll put, oh my god, my stuff. What the heck? So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like. Subscribe. Comment. All that jazz. And, you know what? So, bye.